Once the PowerPack licensing has been added on to a user-based license for Zoom Phone, they will have access when logging into the application to a toolbar that sits docked off to the left-hand side of your screen, or that can be a floating panel on the left-hand side, as you can see here. Inside of this widget, you'll see both their own individual line, in this case, Annie Admin, as well as up to four additional lines you can see here. In this case, Edward Executive is an individual line that Annie is the assistant for Edward. She also has access to the sales call queue, the customer support call queue, and the billing call queue. When a call were to come in, in this case, let's call into Edward Executive first. You can see this call is coming in. It can be answered by Annie in this case. We can accept. That call is now live. Inside of this call, you can see I have the option to be able to record that call. I can call park. I can also simply transfer that call, put the call on hold, or end that call. If another call were to come in, I'd see that call also presented. I can answer that call, which would place the first call on hold. I will have the option, if I choose to do so, to park that call. I can get additional information on who's calling in. I can also merge those two calls together. Now, I could transfer the call that's sitting on hold. And again, in this case, I might uh, search for Edward. And I can see that uh, he is not signed in at this time, so I can just simply send it to his voicemail. See that call's been transferred. And then I could resume my other call and transfer that call. Now in this case, I might uh, transfer it to a group. So in this case, this is coming in from the sales call queue. So let's go to sales. I can find anyone that's available. Sally looks like on her mobile device, she's signed in. I can do a blind transfer, a warm transfer, of course, transferred her voicemail conduct a meeting with her, a phone call, or chat with her. In this case, we're gonna do a warm transfer. This call's coming in. And this call is now live. I have an active call with Sally with the caller initially initiating the call on hold. And as you can see here, I can complete the transfer directly from here or right from the application of Zoom. We'll go ahead and submit that. Both calls now drop, the call transfer is successful, and now Annie Admin is available for any other calls coming in from the individual lines or the call queue she's a part of.